So apparently for some reason, Phil has been leaking Po o as a EX defender. So we don't know if this 1% going to be true, but Phil has been leaking stuff in the past before from some, I don't know where he gets his information from. Maybe he has a leaker friend or something. But apparently we're getting ho o as an EX defender. So, I mean, ho is pretty cool. I just did, like, this EX just never looks good. Um, in any shape or form, right? Especially with the X always being banned from ranked and all that fun stuff. So we're gonna start. We have apparently the entire kit as well. Already the entire kit being leaked. So I don't know where this comes from. Apparently it should be after... Maybe this is for the next anniversary? It would fit, right? For the next anniversary. Ho-O coming out after Far Links and stuff. Actually, I mean, it would be fitting timing. We have Regenerator, Regenerator. When a Pokemon does not take damage from other teams' Pokemon for a certain period of time, its HP gradually recovers. When a Pokemon does not take damage from the other teams' Pokemon for sure, it's pretty much so leftovers. Awesome. So we're starting off with a leftovers passive. Depends on how, like it's, it can be broken, but for the entire team, is that for the entire team? Is that for the entire team? Nah, that sounds, this sounds way too much. This sounds way too, wait, what? Surely not, right? <laughs> for the entire team? <laughs> for the entire team? Basically, the third nomad becomes a reinforced attack that cleaves flames. Increases the damage date and recovers HP. The amount of HP recovered increases if the enhanced attack hits more than one Pokemon. Okay. Sounds pretty, pretty strong. Thieves. It already has icons as well right here. So. Oh man. What do we have next? Safeguard. Protects you with a magic power and reduces the damage you take next. When damage is reduced, its move speed is increased for a short time. So that's like a, a basic move, I guess. I mean, the icons look legit, right? So. The icons look very legit. Not gonna lie. So I don't know, man. <laughs> Tailwind. Creates a vortex of wind in the specific right direction, damaging the opponent's Pokemon. The vortex remains for a while, and Pokemon on your side that go in the direction of the wind will move faster. While Pokemon on your side that go in the opposite direction will move slower. Oh, that's kinda interesting. Pokemon on your side that go in the direction of the wind will move faster, while Pokemon on your side that go in the opposite direction will move slower. Okay. That's kind of, kind of interesting ability. Definitely. Kind of like, yeah, a bit of different Leaf Tornado. But does it mean for enemies? Or for your own stuff? Like, you know? Because it's said by Pokemon on your side that go in the opposite direction and move slower. Or does it mean the enemy side? Is it like uh, also a drawback at the same time? Is it like for, for allies? Or not? Oh, no idea, man. Then we have the first rear move, Fly and Fly Plus. Increases the height of the Pokemon's flight, allows it to ignore voids, and increase its move speed and attack power. The next three normal attacks following the use of this move become enhanced attacks, allowing the attacker to use normal attacks and moves while moving. Using this move again causes it to descend to the ground with great force damaging surrounding Pokemon. Uh, What? Is it Kane? That's Kane from League of Legends. Almost kind of feels like it. What? So it can attack while flying across voids. After uplay, the Pokemon will be able to his head is in the way. Longer period of time. What? Okay. How is this a defender? Yeah, I don't know. But this doesn't sound like a defender so far. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's yeah. And fly. What is fly plus? Do we see fly, fly plus two? Sounds wired. A bit too wired. So it it, it but you can it's like kind of like Charizard maybe. It like flies up like Charizard. You can still hit it in the air, but it can fly across walls. Is that what it means? Not like fly. Not like Talon Flame fly. More like Charizard's unite move. Kind of like it. I feel like it has to be right. Like Charizard's old. You just lift up and then you can still get hit, but you're like in a different hitbox. Huh. 
Oh, uh, upgrade, upgrade. We'll be able to fly longer period of time. It means upgrade, not up late. Yeah. Fire spin and fire spin plus creates a flaming vortex centered on you, damaging and slowing down your opponent's Pokemon and causing ally Pokemon inside the vortex to take some of the damage instead. At the start of this move, the Pokemon gains the sheet effect and the move ends when the sheet effect disappears. Over the certain amount of time, Elapses while the shield effect is still in effect of this move is used again. The heat wave is released around the Pokemon, damaging upon Pokemon. The more damage it takes while the effect lasts, the more damage it does. Upgrade a the emit a heat wave when a shield effect is lost. So just AoE damage around the shield. That damages, that slows. And causing allied Pokemon inside the Vortex to take some damage instead. It puts damage onto your allies? <laughs> Causing allied Pokemon inside the Vortex to take some of the damage instead. What? That seems... okay. What? Flamethrower and Flamethrower Plus. Sprays out a burst of flames in the specified direction, damaging the opponent's Pokemon and lowering the attack and special attack. The longer the flames is out, the longer the wait time for this move. If you keep hitting the opponent's Pokemon with this move, it will be burned for a certain period of time and must be reduced. When a burned Pokemon moves, a trail of flames is left behind, and the opponent's Pokemon on the trail of flames is burned, and its move speed is reduced. Okay, so just... alright. Just like a cone flame thing on the ground, sure. Sounds alright. Upgrade the time it spits the flames becomes shorter, and the wait time for this move becomes... Short, I guess, as well. I don't know. Sky attack. The god bird spreads its wings and charges, then turns around and returns to its original position. It damages any Pokemon it hits and burns the ground it passes through for a while. The burning ground damages and slows the pausing Pokemon. If the attack uh, uses this move again or uses another move, the soul stops on the spot. The god bird. Kind of like Corky package, yeah. Sky attack plus regain a little bit of HP while on the burning ground. Kinda, but like it's... It turns around, like... It flies back and forth, I guess, right? Like it flies back, yeah. Okay, interesting. So it's like corky package, but then, you know, it comes back too. And then we have the Unite move. Rainbow Flame of Resurrec Resurrection. What do you mean, Resurrection? When a Pokemon is KO'd, it will leave a feather mark for a short while. After spreading its wings wide, it expends all of its Aeos energy to heal the KO'd Pokemon and return it to the battlefield from the position of the feather's mark. The more Aeos energy it consumes, the more allied Pokemon it can return to battle. Excuse me? Uh... Um... Uh, I mean, it makes sense for Ho-Oh, but that sounds so beyond broken for the final team fight. I don't even know where to start. What? Okay, I mean, I, well, that sounds very broken. I don't know what else to say. Besides that, it looks, I mean, uh, yeah, Fly looks pretty overpowered. Um, this Unite move could uh, break the game forever. So that's going to be interesting to find out. Who knows? I, that's, we don't know if this is true or not. We're not sure, but I mean, it does look kind of... The abilities look kind of like fake, but at the end, you know, it's an EX Pokemon, so honestly, anything could happen.